that you were leaving on that southbound. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Heard It on the X. Uh, joining us in studio, Everett Lee and Underground Stampede. How you guys doing? Good. How you doing today? Doing really, really well. Uh, listening to a cut off your uh, your EP that just you, you guys just got done, right? Yes, yeah, three song EP. What were you listening to there? That was Attitude. It's uh, I, I wrote that song with a guy named Keith Medley out of Dunkirk. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, now you guys got a big thing going on this weekend. Why don't you tell us about that? What do you yeah, got we're going? actually heading to Nashville, back to Nashville. Um, on the eighth, we're going to be playing at the Preston Hotel, Preston, and then uh, Saturday we're going to be playing at Cadillac Ranch. Get excited. How about you guys? You guys all seem so excited. I can't even count you down. <laughs> What's going on, guys? That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, when do you leave? Actually, we're going to leave Thursday. Thursday morning, get get down there, you know, take it easy. Yeah. And there's a big, uh, um, Linda does a great job for you. Hi, Linda. Yes. Hey, Rich. Yeah, and you do, you, you work like crazy for these guys. You really do. You guys are lucky to have her. Yes. Yeah. Just like we're lucky to have Kim Marie. Um, but... <laughs> You, you've arranged it. There's like there's like a, a group rate hotel thing going on. There's yeah, like all the, kind of at the Preston Hotel. We have a group rate. You can go right on our website www.undergroundstampede.com and you can link on there and get a hotel rate of seventy nine dollars a night. Okay, and the website's undergroundstampede.com. That's it. Notice I got that one no, right. You're, you're writing it down. Right. You're gonna mess it up in a minute. <laughs> um, we have people from all around the country that are meeting us down there, and quite a few people from Western New York that are gonna travel down. This is a big deal. How long? How, I mean, how long did it take you to get, you know, uh, a couple gigs like this in, in Nashville? Oh, well, we've been working on a few months, but they, we have some people down there. We've been down there quite a bit. Um, Everett's been down there working a lot, and actually, Cadillac Ranch was in contact with us, so we. Oh, really? that's fantastic! Yeah. I know. You, now the Cadillac Ranch date you had first, and I talked to you a couple months ago, and you're just, you're so confident and sure of what you do that you said we're going to try to get another gig. Right. We'll, we'll get one, you know. So you, you ended up getting the yeah. one before. Good for you. Yeah. Right. And Good then our you. friends are hosting um, a barbecue for us on Monday. So um, Motivation Plus Publishing is hosting a barbecue for us on Monday. So we're going to play over there. Oh, that's fantastic. With a bunch of friends and just do a jam session. You guys had a busy jam. summer too, right? I mean, you guys were busy, busy, busy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we played down on the lake quite a bit at the South Shore. Yeah. Yeah. Every Thursday, right? Every Thursday. Yeah. Actually, it was supposed to be one month, and then we... Added another month. That's August. good, though, yeah. Oh, I see great. pictures of it. And, and actually, people who, uh, I did a, Thurs a steady Thursday gig, and a bunch of people I talked to said, no, 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 Underground Stampede's playing down, oh, down the great. lake, so we can't, we, they can't leave. So. Yeah, we got a good following there around, around town, because we're all pretty much from around Derby, Angle area. Yeah. You know, so it wor worked out great. Now, you've been, you've been singing for a long time, and you come from a musical family, right? Yes, yes. My dad was in a band, my aunt. They did quite well. We lived in Florida, and, you know, they did quite well there. Did a few things in Nashville, but... Um, you know, so I kind of followed my dad's footsteps. Yeah, that's good. That's that's really good. And, and who else is in the group with you? This, one in. this big silent man is yeah. Larry yeah. Perry. <laughs> Gentlemen, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Larry. How you doing, buddy? Great, great. Larry is an amazing guitar player. You're an amazing guitar player. Oh, well, thank you. You really are. And you come from a musical family. I do. I mean, the Perry family is legendary out in Evans. 60-year history. Yeah. Here in Nashville and all over the country. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys all... Um, and Ray, Ray and I know each other. We all grew up together. Yep. Still playing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now, are you still doing your tribute band? The, uh, yep. So Greed. you got that on the side, too. Yeah, Tell Godsman, me about that. Yeah, it's been a tribute band. And the name of the band is? Greed. Greed. Yep. And what's the website? Uh, we don't have one. We're on oh, uh, good. Facebook, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat off the brow. If there. you guys have never listened to this show, I murder websites, web addresses, <laughs> brutally. I mean, like, the, you are the Charles Manson <laughs> website addresses. <laughs> I am. I'm brutal. At this. this is terrible. It's terrible. Okay, so one of the songs on the disc um, was written by J uh, Johnny Van Zandt? Yes, that's tell me Johnny, about that. Johnny Van Zandt and Donnie Van Zandt. So tell me about that. How did you end up working with those guys, and how did they end up writing for you? Actually, we had a guy, uh, we, we played at Langford Jamboree, and I had a fiddle player that came up and played with us at that Jamboree, and then uh, he took a video back, and they 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 watched it, and uh, Robert White Johnson had this song that he wrote with Van Zandt, and they called called us up. We went down there, you know, checked the song out, and um, he, he, he said, man, this, this is all you right here. Oh, really? You know? So somebody delivered I, the video of you and to the yeah to my producer. Robert oh, that's Lee fantastic! Johnson. You know, we went down and he played it for us and he said, you know, because uh, I have like a good, like a bluesy style in my in my singing, you know, like a lot of Western New Yorkers do. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it worked out. As soon as I heard the song, I'm like, wow, that's great. Yeah, I'd love to record it. So it was, you know, it's interesting what you just said too, because I really hadn't thought about it until now. Um, you're predominantly a country artist, but. Uh, 
being in Western New York, you still have the flavor of Western New York, which really is. I mean, there's just a lot of blues and, and early rock and roll influences in the artists here. So exactly. it comes through in what you do, yeah. too. You know, I never really noticed it until I went down there and listened to that song, and then we recorded it. It was like, well, yeah, I guess... You know, I never really looked at it like that. Like, Was it brought to your attention down? I mean, when, when you were somewhere else other than here and someone else heard it, did they say, wow, there's a lot of blues in here or something? Yeah, actually, when when, it, when Robert first heard me, he, he told me that. He's you know, And then I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, I guess I do, you know, because yeah. we had a lot of influence here. And then with the country style. So we kind of have a different twist on, yeah. the, on the country. Yeah, that's good, though. I mean, and it's it, country, it seems like to me, modern country is the only place that's really signing artists right now. I mean, yes. the rest of it is, you know, forget it. It's really the only place for guitar players. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's a it's a different music industry now than it's than it's been. Yes. You, you guys have a MySpace too, right? Yes. How many hits do you got in there? Um, in a th- twenty thousand. Yeah, twenty twenty five thousand. Yeah. MySpace. Yeah. MySpace is kind of dying out a little bit. Facebook yeah. is where everybody seems to be right now. So we're on Facebook also. The thing about Facebook, it do, it, it doesn't have a, a good media player, no. you know, application. Yeah. I mean, it seems like they almost wanted it that way. Like yeah. they didn't want it for for you know. So MySpace is really the place. For yeah. bands, we've had a couple producers on the show that told us there's departments at labels. That's all they do. They they look at MySpace, MySpace to see oh, yeah. you know who's out there. And we talked to Janet Hannibal, who's a country artist. She was actually uh, discovered on on MySpace. We got a movie soundtrack. So there's still some validity to, to having the MySpace account. Mm-hmm. And was it Ernie that talked to us and said that they do that? Ernie Corral. Somebody talked to us. And there was a couple different said people. that there's producers that just do that. There's whole departments that yeah. just, you know, look for they people. They just search. Yeah. Maybe there's a chance for us. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you just don't know. I mean, you, yeah. you really don't know. So what? when you come back, what else do you got going on for the rest of this, this month? You guys are still based here, so you're still going to be doing... Yeah. Actually, in uh, November 19th, we're going to be opening up for Jimmy Wayne. That's through uh, Back to Back Entertainment. That's at Rapids Theater. Oh, Niagara yeah. Falls. Yeah. yeah. That Rapids Theater is an amazing facility. I've heard. Have you guys seen it yet? Yes. Yeah, so John sponsors the show, some, uh, you know, depending on the events that he has. But uh, um, I've heard that he's just sunk tons of money into this Beautiful. place. Beautiful. Yeah. He did a great job in there. Yeah, we've played there already. So it... I've heard uh, Fee Wable told yeah, us. Yeah, we, t- we talked to Fee Wable from the Tubes the other day. And he said that the, his advance guy came back and said, you're not going to believe this place. It's like everything's new. You know, the whole, the, everything, the sound system, monitors, everything, lighting, right, brand beautiful new. Beautiful job, beautiful job on it. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's awesome. It's a, it's a great venue, too. 